Hey guys, we're back for episode 4 of the Minecraft Modded Season 6 Let's Play. So, first I would like to say that we are on a server hosted by a good friend of mine. Um, he's from England and I think the server is hosted in Canada. So you can tell there's a bit of lag there and there, as you can tell. Just drop the item. Kind of took... Sometimes, like... There's not too much delay. Like, one, once I load the chunks, once I load that area... It's much better. So first, I'd like to show you. I set up this nice farm here, which gets hydrated because it's a. It's three every direction from the main water source, and it tells you how much percentage it has grown. These um things. So that's pretty good. Now also, we have been mining quite a lot. Me and um Bling. Now we'll be talking to Bling pretty soon once I show you what he's up to. But first, I'm going to show you what we've been doing. We've done quite a lot of stuff. I probably would have liked to do this on camera. But, yeah. So, I, I have upgraded the chest to an iron chest. I think we did that on camera. But, I also upgraded to a gold chest, which is just a piece of gold a piece of gold in the middle. No. A piece of iron in the middle, surrounded by gold. And that's your gold chest upgrade. So, as you can tell, we have quite a lot of stuff. Because, we've been doing quite a lot of mining. And the mines are really amazing. If you guys want me to show you um, the mines sometime, just leave it in the comments. Now you might be wondering why I have two chests over here and that are gold. Because of the crazy amount of stuff I've been getting. Because of this mod pack. Well, because of my ultimate my ultimate farms. And it kind of does that because the build craft pipe, it doesn't go to the first adjacent inventory. It goes pretty much straight to whatever one it wants to go to. So then we go downstairs here, and it's not too much difference. I've just added a ton load of hoppers. Now this, this is so, it, it's pretty much automated from all the way up there and I don't need to walk down here. So we've got the stuff going into the pulverizer, which goes into the furnace, which gets outputted to the bottom, that goes through a pipe, straight up to my sorting room. So I, as you can tell, I like to have it nice and, uh, nice and organized and stuff, so it looks pretty neat. Alright. So f let's just uh, chuck this flour in here so we get some more bread. Chuck the, uh, we've already got a stack of bread. Actually, I'll bring some, uh, bread over for bling. So, also, what, have, what else have we done? Not too much. But, by the way, these are the chests here. So, just so, to let you guys know, if you put ores that can be pulverized in here, they'll be pulverized. Now, the ores that can only be smelted go into this one, which go down to the, uh, the, um, uh, the furnace. Now, sorry if there is a bit of lag. You got to remember, it is a um, server hosted in Canada. I'm thinking, but it is on um, two gigs. So that's enough for now. There's a bit of delay. If it gets terrible, then I'll have to think about talking to the people and see what we can do. But this is fine for now, I guess. It's. I would say it's not too bad. Now we need a torch before we can get down here. So let's just grab this torch. Walk up here. Walk down here. Let's just try and. Lock a torch down. Now down here is where I have all the ores growing. So we're growing some, um, at the moment we're growing some an emilium bush or thingy. We also have a copper, I think that's, it's a tin or berry bush. The XP bush, um, copper, I, copper, tin, tin. Then I think I have an iron there somewhere. Or oh, is it done? Are they? Oh, they are. I wouldn't even known. So let's just fly up here. Chuck these in. Now these, these ores looking things, they can only be smelted. They cannot be pulverized. I've tested, I've tested that. So we can chuck them into our smelting chest and they'll get smelted and chucked into our chest. So let's go see what Bling is doing. First, let's just chuck our chicken eggs. And also I got a new morph from the nether. We got some kind of looking a bat, the fire bat. So let's just morph into the fire bat and show you that real quickly. Sorry for this lag. Unless I'm already morphed in it. No, look at that. You've got nice fire fire particles right behind you. So that's that's pretty good. So let's go. Let's chuck an egg at this wisp. Actually, I think that's a friendly wisp. So I think that's a good thing. 
So. Let's just eat these berries. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Alright. So. <laughs> I just found out that Bling is a wisp. So, I do have Bling on a uh, Skype call with me, so he can say hi now if he wants. Hello. Yes. So, he is... Yeah. So, as you can tell, I've already said we're on a server. So that means we can um, both... Play. He can mine and help me. He can help. Because I'm not that good with Thorncraft or like. What other good mods is there? Blow. Um. Uh. Just mods in general. Hmm. I'm good with most mods. And as you can tell, there's a wisp. Um. He'll turn off his uh, morph maybe soon so we can see what his skin looks like maybe. I'm turning off my morph. Now he does have some good looking armor that I will probably make eventually. I'll probably make that now, because it looks really good. But, um, yeah, so this this area we decided it's going to be a Thorncraft area. I know it looks like a nice area probably for a house, but not not actually. Because I do want land out the front of my house so you can do other stuff and things. So, yeah. So, I think I'll be making a nice red, redstone energy cell so you can uh, so we can store our power from our, uh, what's what's the engine name? What's it called? Uh, the... Steam Dynamo. Steam Dynamo, yes, that's the one. So, um... Yeah, well, I'll keep him on the coal. Unless he wants to, um... Get to work. Uh, wait, I was gonna give you some bread. Do you need food, anyway? Or... Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I thought of, thought of you. I just chucked that in the house somewhere. That should be there pretty soon. <laughs> um... If you want, you can mute your mic, um, so then it's a bit more peaceful, I guess. Because yep, okay. there will be music in the background, and then all we'll hear is just clicking. So, as you can tell, there's no more clicking, because he stopped. Um, yeah, so... Thanks for playing, for being in the videos, so he can help out and stuff, so... B -b -b -i -n -g. B -b 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 -i -n -g. Yeah. <laughs> So, as you can tell, there's a bit of lag, like I said, once we load the chunks. So, like, the, the chunks are loading. Eventually, they'll load. And now, soon they should be pretty pretty fine, so... We just need to wait. I, I don't mind. I Hopefully, you guys find it okay. Like, you don't mind us waiting just a little bit to get the uh, uh, connection better. So, what, what I want to... Want, want, right... What I want to make is a hardened energy cell. Now, to make a hardened energy cell, we're going to need a leadstone, a leadstone energy cell. So, to make an okay, we're going to need a block of redstone, some glass, and some lead. So, what have we got in here? We've got some lead. Let's just grab some lead. We need some redstone to make a redstone block, so let's just go into our crafting tinkers thingy, my bobby, 3000. Craft a few redstone blocks, because we may need them in the future. Then, we're going to want to... We're going to want to... What are we going to want to do? We're going to need some glass. So, let's have a look in our chest. Uh, wrong chest. I think we should have some glass somewhere. Yep, we got some glass. All good now. We're all good, we got some glass. And we go redstone in the middle. Lead around the outside, and we have the redstone cell frame. Now, B B B ing, I N G. What 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 do I need to do next? Do I just need to put the Invar blend around it, and it should be all right? Um. Oh no, I would rather do it with the redstone conduit. Actually, wait. Hmm. Uh, with the you need to make the frame first, and then you need to I've got have the copper ingots. Uh, either side and on top, and a redstone conduit coil on the bottom. Alright, got it. How do you make electrum? Do you need electrum? Um, no, you don't need electrum yet, not until the redstone stuff. So what do I- I've got the, uh, leadstone energy cell frame, now what? Um, you, you um, have copper on the top and the sides. Oh, I found it, found it, all good. Hmm. 
How's Electrum? Have we made any Electrum or? No, we won't need Electrum for a while. We may need to use Ingvar. So what do you, it says a redstone conduit coil, which you use uh, electrum ingots and redstone. Oh, we need electrum ingots for that, do we? Yeah. So you um, want me an induction smelter? That's what I need to make? No, we can just have pulverized silver and pulverized gold. Pulverized silver and pulverized gold? Yep. Now, I think I'll just make the induction smelter because we're going to need that eventually, I guess. Yeah. And it's not so hard to make, so I'll make that, um, shouldn't be too hard. So, we're going to want to make a nice machine frame, which is going to use gold, iron, and glass. Gold, iron, glass. Um, how about I show you the recipe? So that's how you make it. You need a machine frame, a redstone conduit, a bucket that's pretty obvious to make, some invar, and some copper. So yeah, I'll be back once I make that, so... I'll be right back. Hey guys, so we're back, and I thought that I should show you. Because there's an item in there that you guys may not know how to craft. And that is Invar. Now, the way you craft Invar is you're going to need some... You need to pulverize some ferrous and pulverize some iron. You're going to want to put two iron dust and one ferrous, one ferrous dust. One of that. And you'll get three Invar, Invar dust, and then you just smelt that down to get some Invar ingots. And then you can make, these are the Invar ingots needed to make the induction, induc induction smelter. Now, I think I have a bit more redstone conduit. No, wait, leadstone, because we're going to need to install this. So now that we have our leadstone, let's chuck this and install this in. Time to install this one fully installed. Now we're definitely gonna have to get some more power. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get some more power now because we're getting we, we've got a few machines here and I pulled little, pull little steam dynamo I probably can't catch up. So the first place we're going we're, we're going to make was a leadstone energy conduit so if you can find that or just type it leadstone there it is, which needs that um, redstone, and we're going to need Electrum. So to make Electrum, we just need one gold and one silver, and they'll make us two Electrum in the induction smelter. So one gold and one silver should do it. So what have we got here? One gold, so let's just let's make a few, and we've got tons of silver, like four or five stacks, because silver's useless, and yeah... And that's the recipe, so it's going to start crafting that out. And there's our electrum ingots. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like this. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Let's go get some more coal. So we can chuck it in our... Um... Steam Dynamo. And get him working. So, we're definitely going to have to make another one. Because he just ran out, pretty much. He's running out low. He's running low. So we've got that. All good, all good, all good. So now we're going to want to go upstairs. Go into our crafting station. Place one of those, place one of them and them. To make this bad boy. Don't know the name, but yeah. And then we should be able to do, do that. And we get a leadstone energy cell. Now, this can be used so we can store power. So we can have a few engines and maybe produce quite a lot of power. For when it's needed. So I'm thinking we're just going to put it here so I can access it at any time. Now, BB, BBing, do we need a wrench to destroy the Leadstone Energy Conduit? Um, you mm. need the cres no, Crescent no. Hammer. It's alright, I just made it with my pick. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can tell, you can see here, the Leadstone Energy Cell is filling up with the uh, Redstone Current. Or something. <laughs> so, and then it's outputting a... 80 RF. Should we put it to 80 or should we lower it down? Um, I would say 80 because that's what both the um, things require at. Right? So, we're going to want to make another steam dynamo. Or should we get a different thing? Or do you think the steam dynamo is the way to go? I'm um, steam dynamo for the moment until we get a pump in the nether. We'll probably get a pump, uh, 
Next episode, that sounds good, alright? Yeah. Good, good alright. So we need some copper gears once again, so this is pretty easy crafting. Let's go get two copper gears, so two iron, two copper, 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 copper. There's our two copper gears, and then we're going to want some more copper once again. We're also going to need this bad boy, which is uses some silver. Some of that, that, and that, that, that. And we need, that's it, is that it? Too easy. Too easy. There's another steam dynamo. Pretty much easy. Now, I don't think we're going to do logistics pipes. I think we're going to go straight to, um, MA, because YOLO, and I can't be bothered. Because ME is just, it is a lot, lot more easier than, um, the other ones. Loads of people can agree. Um, yeah, so we're just going to stay with that. And now we're producing a lot more power. Uh, as you can tell, the redstone energy leadstone cell is filling up nicely. So we have a nice buffer supply of power for when it's needed. As you can tell, it's being used in uh, all our machines. And, yeah. So, how hard is it? To, so what's that pump called that uses, that, um, that fills up the lava with the cobblestone again? Um, the lava with cobblestone. Hmm. The pump that can get lava and then... Oh, the, it's just called a pump and it's from Billcraft. So it's just, um, jump. <laughs> Oop. So it's just the normal Billcraft pump? Yep. Oh, okay. We can make that right now, that's, that's, that's basic. Okay. And so it's good to, um, what's called run it with the redstone and the redstone engines. Redstone? Oh yeah, 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 got that. Thing is, we can't transport it, so I don't think we'll do that. Mm -hmm. We need, um, tesseracts, don't we? Um, or, or we can just get a, um, what's it called, portable tank. Oh, how much are they? Um, we can get up to hardened. Create a portable tank. Normal portable tank. Whoa, that's basic. Yeah. So we should go to Harden. Yeah. So let's make one of these real quick. Let's just get the portable tank, which is just one copper. Copper ingot. Let's grab that. Let's grab all the invar. One copper ingots. And then we need some glass. Pretty easy. And then we surround that with some invar to upgrade it to the next one, I think. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yep. And what's the next one? A reinforced. Okay, we can't do that. Actually, pulverized obsidian and lead. We could if we really wanted to, but what's the difference? Like, what's the difference? Um, it's double. Okay. So, do we need two of these, or? Uh, yeah, I would say about two. Oh, how do we break these? Do we need a wrench? Um, um crescent hammer. Crescent hammer. I think, do we have one of those? Hmm. Crescent hammer. No, we do not. I think it's just ten and nine. Crescent. Here it is. The crescent hammer, which is just ten and nine. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some tin and some iron. Very nice, very nice. Then we can place some iron right there and some tin to make the crescent hammer. Very nice. And we can crescent hammer this bad boy up. There we go. So we're going to want to make uh, two of those, so we're going to need to do the same recipe. We've got enough glass, so we just need one more piece of copper. One more piece of copper, there we go. And then we're going to place that like that. Surround it with glass. So let's surround this with glass very quickly, very nice. And then surround it with the invar ingots. Done. Now I don't know if these are connected. I think they are connected. I think I am tr I think I'm right. Now, we're going to want to make this pump. Okay. To make a pump, like I said, it's very basic. All you need is sticks. <laughs> no. Sticks is what you need to start off with. So let's grab some wood. I already have sticks, but I'm being lazy, so. Yeah. So we need one, is that right? One of those. Yep, one of them. So we just need to surround this to make a wooden gear and then upgrade it to a stone gear. And I think we even need to upgrade it to an iron gear. Yes, an iron gear. Um. Iron gear. Then we're gonna want to get a 
iron pickaxe. Very easy. Easy, easy, easy. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna want to make a. We can make it. No, we need redstone. <laughs> Let's just grab some redstone out real quick. Okay, all right. Let's go. Let's place that in. What's going on? Okay, now let's place it. Okay. Let's see if I've got the right stuff and see if it's trying to trick me. Boom. It was lying to me the whole time. Screw him. Screw inventory shortcut things. So, I have a pump. Now we're going to want to make some redstone energies. Redstone. Redstone. Redstone engines, which is Billcraft, which is very basic. So let's just grab a crazy load of sticks. Or oh, we don't have too many more, but that's alright. So let's just put them together and make pretty much as much as we can with wooden gears. Six gears should do. Now to make this, we're going to need a piston. We're also going to need a few pistons. So let's find some wood. There's... Uh, no, we don't want red wood bark. We want red wood and maybe a bit more iron. But I think we should be fine. So let's just turn this into planks, and we should be able to craft this all, maybe. So there's seven of those, and then we should be able to go, boom. Three redstone energy cells, which is nice. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, Ian, you can put on your microphone again, and let's yep. go. Let's go um, hook this up. So these uh, hardened portable tanks are connected already, are they? The default ones. Um, what about? Them? Are they connected together? Uh, do they connect together? Yeah. I know they're separate. Oh, so you you're gonna have to plonk it down and then go get the tank once it's full. Yeah. Oh. But it's good to have two tanks, I guess then. Yeah. Then we're gonna want to get probably some piping. So how about you come back to the house and making my way? I think I still have some redstone. I mean, some waterproof piping. Or did I even make any? Don't think I did. Or some liquid ducts, which is just oh. um, copper and lead. Okay. L I. L I. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're right. Did you kill him? Yeah. Okay. How is that spelled? L I Q U I D A C. You sure it's in the game? Yeah, the liquid ox. L I Q L I Q U. C I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll look it up. Hmm. Liquid. Um, well, we'll be back once we find it, so we'll be right back. Hey guys, so we're back, and we found the ingot, I mean the uh, recipe, and it's called Fluid Duct. Now, to make Fluid Duct, you need lead and copper, so we made some of that, and we have 54 Fluid Duct. Now, it's a shame that I thought I thought these connected like ender chests, but it seems to be they don't. So that means we can fill up these, and then we're going to have to manually grab them, and then plonk them down, and then fill up a tank it in the overworld and um should work all right so let's just let's just go on the nether now hopefully i don't crash here because last time i crashed i don't think yay we didn't crash we went through pretty smooth too so just because i'm going to turn into a fire bat for safety reasons so let's just go into a fire 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 bat there we go now in has i mean bling has just arrived so, I think the lava, where is the lava at? The lava's just right down this away. Whoa, what's this thing? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's a nasty creeper. Why don't I have any armor on? Because I was going to make some nice bronze armor. This is, this is quite risky. But, yes. I want to make it over here. Seems if it is nothing on this island, that should be alright. Hopefully, Blink can find me or I'll have to go back and... You found me or no? Um, not yet. Alright. So I'll just chuck this, uh, let's just flatten some land here. 
Oh, let's clear a bit of the land. Um, I'm going to turn into my myself and then you should be able to see me. Can you see me? I'm on like some kind of island, so you're going to have to fly to me. Yeah, I'm flying. Um, how about I flatten out some land and I'll be right back with you guys. So oh, I see you. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we're back, and so we're going to finish off this pump. So what we're going to need is to grab all this stuff out of the chest that I've conveniently placed in there nicely. So, first we're going to want to find a spot for it. So I'm choosing, make sure I'm in a bat. Let's dig straight down here. So this is, whoa, holy cow, holy cow. So straight away we're going to place these down here, and with some redstone engines, so they can pretty much straight away... Just go ahead and do their thing. That's good. They're gonna do their thing. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. And so all we need to do is just place. Now we're gonna make a bit of liquid ducts. So we can place some liquid ducts here. Make it a go along. And then we can place pumps. I mean tanks whenever we want. So we can place a tank here. Place a tank there. And I can hear a zomp. A pigman. Okay, he's not angry. I was just wondering about that. So, I think this should work. Uh, if so, if not, let's just grab our crescent hammer. And then we can, like, turn this or something. Okay, I think it's working now. Let's see if it's working. Is it working? Burn to working. Do we need to... I think the pump head's not down there yet, so let's just see. Yeah, the pump head's still going down. So I'll be right back once this pump, pump head just hits the, the lava. So, I'll be right back. Here goes the pump. It's about to go into the lava. It goes down. It goes down. It goes down. It goes down. And... 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 Touchdown! So now let's fly all the way back up here. And we should see lava now flowing through into this. There we go. It's got... It's filling up quite quickly indeed. Now... An idea that I just thought about was... Let's make some tanks. So we can store a lot more lava, and we can just come in here and do what we want. So let's just make another pipeline going this way into a pump, I mean a tank, that will be right here. So that's got 48,000 MB, mega buckets, something like that. So to end us up, I'm just going to go check on how the... um. How that Thorncraft room is looking, because BB Bing has done a lot of work. Now I need to figure out a name to call you. Um, you can turn on your mic now, like, cause BB Bing. Mike. Yeah. What do you think I should like when I want to talk to you? Bing. 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 Yeah, that 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 works. Yeah. So hopefully we can get through this portal safely and not die. For some reason it's taking me half an hour to get through this portal. This is never a good thing. Okay. I'll be back actually once I'm back in the overworld, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so we're back, and so yeah, this is the Thorncraft room. It's quite a big room, or rooms, whatever you want to call it. We need some stairs here, we'll do that later off camera. So I'm deciding that he should, um, Bling should do some um, Thorncraft off camera. And then just like tell us about it and show us like what it does and how it is the next episode. I think that's a good idea, so he should do that. And any other mod that I'm not familiar with, like he'll just tell me and then and then I'll say yes or no. And we'll do that on camera and stuff. So you can talk by the way. So talk about what you've got so far. Um I got my um iron capped wooden wand. Well nice wand. Oh, it's got this nice uh, indicator on the top left there. That's what I have. And oh. you, if you press shift, it t tells you how much I have. Oh, yeah. 9, 5, 0, 10, 5, 8. Okay. Very nice. What else have you made? Um, if I right-click on this table... Yep. I get my arcane workbench. Ah, uh, I remember this. Yep. Okay. And... Oh. Two of these. You're gonna be making a scribing table or a writing table or something like that. Yep. And, one, and the scribing tools. Yep, yep. Chuck that on there. Boom. Research table. That's what it's called. 
So what other item did you make? Um. Oh yeah, I made the thermometer. So whoa, that animation. So with this bad boy, it's very nice. It fits in your hands nicely, and you can just pretty much research stuff by left clicking. I mean right clicking on stuff. So it seems to be I've just discovered stuff. I'm just spamming it and hopefully we find them more stuff. So that's pretty nifty. You can have that back. You can do some more research and stuff. So yeah, he... Yeah, he, maybe he'll have a few things by next episode. Because next episode might not be before... before uh, might not be for a few days. Because we've already done three episodes. And the reason for that is because my dad's home and the uploads take like a day and... Yeah, reasons. So, and I, I just heard some nice looking noise. I mean... By the looks of it, that's a night or research, right? Yep, I'm starting on night or. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be it for episode 4 of the Minecraft Modded Season 6 Let's Play. I love thanks all for watching, and as always, have a nice day.